All right, I want you to do me a favor right now. Think of the time when you started with self-improvement, of the time when you said, okay, I want to make more out of my life, I want to reach my full potential. And then look at your goals that you had back then when you started. They were probably big, they were like, okay, I wanted to be a pilot, right? I don't want to settle for a normal job. Maybe a pilot is what you wanted. Or maybe just a millionaire is what you wanted. You wanted to have a great body, a six pack, and be super confident probably. Like when you, when you first saw, okay, this might be possible, you set yourself huge goals. But look at your goals now. If you're into this for some years, what are your goals like now? Is there a big discrepancy? Do you think smaller right now? Do you think, okay, I can settle for this, right? Or maybe I don't need that much to be happy. Are those thoughts that you have that justify those smaller goals? Hey guys, my name is Dennis and I'm building my business in sales right now because the goal is for me to be free to travel the world. Right now we are in Medellin, Colombia in some co-working space and the goal here on this YouTube channel is to document the journey, right? The ups, the downs, the in-betweens as I always say. And then the learnings and they will be shared here on this channel. So if this is interesting, consider subscribing and now let's continue with the video. Okay, so the very first thing I want to address in this video is something called pull towards entropy. I shared this sometimes before on this channel, but this is basically the concept that everything in the universe, right? This is like a law, something of the universe. Everything that isn't growing is dying. So everything where we don't constantly put energy in is slowly but steadily decreasing, right? It's pulling towards like destruction more or less. Think about your car, right? At some point, for 20 years, or maybe earlier, right, the car is destroyed. The same with our body. Let's say you go to the gym regularly, you have a great body. You can be Arnold Schwarzenegger if you don't continue going to the gym, if you don't continue eating well, putting constant energy and effort into this, your body will decrease, right? Your results will decrease. This is pull towards entropy. I can't think of anything where this doesn't apply. Text me in the comments if you find something where this doesn't apply. And again, the same applies for our standards and for our goals, right? We constantly have to put effort and energy into this or it will slowly decrease. We constantly have to tell ourselves, okay, I would want more. I will think bigger. I will do more for my goals. The next thing I want to address here is the topic of standards, right? So we have certain standards that we set ourselves in like various areas of our life. And I think what most people do not know is that every standard affects the other standards and like each other, right? So they're intertwined. So for example, if we are on one day, we wake up early, it's also very likely that we will do our morning routine that we will be working very productive, that we will also um, end the day motivated and go to the gym. Let's think of the other example, like the other extreme, you totally sleep in, right? You're super unmotivated, maybe you're in apathy, maybe you have sweatpants, maybe you have no pants at all, and you say, okay, nothing matters, really, I just wanna feel something, I wanna feel better, let's order some pizza. Let's order some bullshit food, let's order, or let's uh, drink some uh, soft drink. We also have to realize, okay, here also the pull towards entropy, entropy is applying, right? So if we don't push, uh, put energy in, like all the standards are slowly decreasing and because they're intertwined, they are even getting quicker decreased. What do the most successful people say? It's not about, okay, the big goals that we have to focus on. No, it's like the, the little daily action steps that we have to focus on. Do the work every day, even if we don't see results in the long run. It is very likely that we will still have the success that we want by just doing the daily action steps. The last thing I want to talk about is the topic of um, comfort zone. I think literally everybody who watches this video has heard of this concept co uh, called comfort zone before. But I think what happens is that we forget about the concept. Or we, we have it in the back of our brain, but we always forget the concept. And with this video, I might want to like remind you or have an appeal on you to reflect a bit. Think about the last couple of days, the last couple of weeks maybe. How often were you outside of your comfort zone and how often were you inside of your comfort zone? Don't answer this to me, don't answer this in a comment public or anything, just answer it for yourself because you cannot lie to yourself. When I did this exercise a month ago, I realized, okay, fuck, there was like too much time inside of the comfort zone. I have to step out of the comfort zone again because again, there's no growth, there's decrease. All right, I appreciate that you watched until the end and I really hope you got some value out of this and this maybe inspired you to like step up your goals again, step up your standards again, and uh, maybe like think like in some month again about this, uh, maybe mark it in your calendar and to again and again step up your goals because again, pull towards entropy. This will happen again, I'm pretty sure this happens to me like regularly that I realize, okay, I have to step up my standards, I have to step up my goals. And anyways, by the way, um, the model of this channel, as always, let's, let me share this here at the end, is like 10 years of hard work for 50 years of freedom. So literally, okay, if we put in 10 years of hard work into our business, into ourselves, into our body and our m brain, our mindset, right? We can then live however we want, like free, uh, with money, with whatever, with everything that we want. Um, and the goal of this channel is to document my journey while I put in this, this these 10 years, right? Um, so if this is interesting, again, consider subscribing and then we'll see each other next video with motivation outside of our comfort zone 
lots of other good stuff that I might share here. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.